Hey there, today I'm visiting two different Goodwills, or same Goodwill, two different occasions, and I am looking for things that I can buy to turn around and sell for a profit on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, places like that. I do cross post, so if you're interested, I have a link down below for the site I use and a coupon code and all that fun stuff. Uh, but I do find a doozy in this one. Watch out for that first step, it's a doozy. <laughs> You might think it's a gray area, but I'm going to explain to you when we get there why it's a big time no-no and it's something that can get you in a lot of trouble if you try to sell it on eBay or Etsy or any other site really. So first place I am looking today is in the electronics section and I am trying to expand my, my selling base, the kinds of things I sell because I want to start making sure I'm picking up things that are bringing in a lot of profit and some more items that might sell um, cool more quickly and this is just an area that I haven't always gone to but today I find this Black & Decker VersaPack basically it's a charging station and they want seven dollars and fifty nine cents for this it's selling for about thirty dollars so with that thirty bucks off of seven fifty nine that's a good eighteen dollar profit and they look like they were selling pretty steadily on eBay the next thing that I find is in the hard goods section and you guys I, I get criticism sometimes because I share the things that I put back and I like to explain why I share these items because it's something that my gut told me to pick up and I'm showing that you know what I picked it up for a reason I thought it was cool Chicago Cubs they've got a huge fan base but it's good to know, you know, looking this up, it's something that is not going to be something that is profitable for me to bring home. Now, a lot of times there are going to be other things that are from the Chicago Cubs or different um, sports leagues that are worth a lot of money. So it's worth sharing. Same things with these uh, little salt and pepper shakers. These are vintage, they may be antique by now, but even at $2.49, I've had things like this sit in my eBay store for a really, really long time. So I do decide to put those back. They might have been a good pickup. Now this owl is something that I would have generally picked up if the price had been lower, but they wanted, what was it, $9.49 on this? And so it just wasn't something I was going to pick up. Now these book holders, bookends, again, they want $9.49. I really think these would have been a good pickup if they would have been a little bit less expensive. If you think I'm wrong, then definitely leave a comment down below. I probably could have sold them for 20 bucks and gotten a good profit on it, but I just, picking it up for that price, I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather not. But this is a really nice, uh, what, I always say it wrong, or a fees, or, oh, that's not, that sounds really bad. Uh, not our face, but it, they want three dollars and forty nine cents on this candle holder, and I've sold from this brand before. I'm gonna pop it up and show you. How do you say this? Or for or force, but with that, uh, it's a good eight dollar profit. So that's a for sure pickup. And I have sold not the star, but I've sold other ones from that brand before. This is a little music box. I don't end up getting it. It's $5.49 that they want on this one. And I decide to go ahead and leave that one behind. Once I twisted it up and had it going, the music sounded really distorted. I'm not sure what causes that on some of these music boxes. But otherwise, I think I might have picked that one up. Uh, I don't remember what the brand was, but it looked like the same brand that makes those snow babies. But I'm not sure that that's... It could have been something else, Linux, who knows? All right, so I start, I start leaving this aisle and then I, I notice that there are some candle holders here and they are brass candle holders and they say joy, which I think is super duper cool. They want, let's see, what is it? $5.49, I need to see, I think that's for the pair, I hope. Uh, but these are ones that, again, I end up leaving behind because the profit margin just was not going to be enough for me to make a, a good profit on these see and this is why I look things up and this is why I share my flops because I put them in my cart here and then I was like you know what I better look these up so when I look them up I'm seeing like these are ones that are up for like $12 $15 and then when I click on sold over here what I find is yeah there's $19.99 with free shipping $12 but best offer was taken there's a lot of them that are up, but not a lot that are sold. So like if, 
if you wonder, like, why is she sharing us the things that she's not getting? It's because this happens. You've got to double check because if you keep picking things up that just aren't selling, then you're going to end up with a lot of inventory that sits around for a while. So this is a big shot. It's, it's from Stampin' Up! It's a die cut machine. And they want 19 and change for this. And they are selling for anywhere between 40, 50 bucks, which is fantastic. But when I looked it up, you notice that the crank is missing on the side of this. And you really need that crank to crank down those die cuts to put the pressure on. So I had to leave it behind. That would have been a good $23 profit on that item. Here comes our big time no-nos. What we have here appears to be a Pluto snow globe, and there's also a Woody. However, these are not Disney-made snow globes. Somebody's taken these little vinyl characters and made their own snow globes with those characters. So I can see where someone might think this is a gray area because those are Disney characters, but they are not licensed Disney snow globes. So I'm going to drop a link down below because there's a lot of people say on Etsy and other places that are using, say, their, their cry, crickets, cry cuts, you know, to do um, cutouts and try to sell Disney products on Etsy and other places. But if you are not licensed to sell like that kind of thing that your homemade Disney products, then you cannot sell it. Can you sell Disney products? Yes. Can you sell your own creations of Disney products? No, you can't. Uh, so I'm going to link a couple of articles down below talking about that. And I do see one person on eBay that is sharing or selling something like this. But I want to caution you, just because you see somebody that has an item up, say, on eBay or Etsy or something like that, and that doesn't mean that it's okay to do. So absolutely, you cannot sell something like that. Now take a look at this. This is a Christmas house. It's from a brand that I don't know. It's like Pack something, just sort of like a industrial style or uh, brand name. I don't. It didn't have like a brand brand. But with all the lights and sounds, I it does. I do still need to test it. But there's one that just sold in January 12 for $75. So once I make sure that it's all working and everything, that's a $58 profit. Guess where it is right now? Waiting to be tested. But yeah, I need to get that going. Then the next thing I see is this mask here. This is something that I usually would pick up. It's got a big scuff on its nose. It's kind of banged up, but you know, honestly, some people like the distressed look. They want it $5.49 on it. But I have a couple things like this that have been sitting for a while. I think maybe it's one of those items that, you know, if I had found at a garage sale or something for pretty cheap, it, it might be something I would I would take home, but no. And I really like this box with the kind of distressed, like, nautical colors. and. But no, again, I've got a lot of trinket boxes that I have to end up eating more words every time I say... My trinket boxes just aren't selling anymore. Like the next week I'll sell two or three of them. So, oh well. But I left it behind for that reason. Because I do have quite a few trinket boxes and jewelry boxes that are just aren't selling. What do you think about this? Like I was so on the fence about getting this basket. It's really unusual and cool looking. But I do not end up getting that either. So it stays behind. Another thing I kind of wish I picked up to look at is that cornucopia. I don't see those very often. And then also get a load of these snakes. Aren't they something? So then I see these plates here. They, they're they Christmassy, winter, but $20 and some odd cents for, what was it, four plates or something? It must have been more than that. What does it say? Seven of six. No, four of six. So there were six plates for 20 something dollars. Like, mm, they'd have to really be something special. $12 looks like on 10 plates, but there were no maker's marks on those plates. So... Y'all let me know if you see something where you're like, you really should have gotten that. I ended up looking this one up, and there were a couple plates, but they they really weren't selling for that much. I think the dragon is super duper cool, but yeah, not a whole lot. And $3.49, I think it was like $9.99 that I saw that they were selling for. And here we go. Some used, what are they, shoe inserts, arch supports. I think I'll pass on those. Maybe somebody will use them. Then there was a single boxing glove. It's kind of messed up a little bit, but uh, my son has been getting into boxing lately. 
And I'm kicking myself because I didn't even look. I see on the on the corner there that Callaway golf bag. I've since bought a Callaway golf bag, but I, I didn't end up even looking at that one. Oh, you guys, these look, get a load of these sweet little shoes. These little baby vans are just adorable, aren't they? $2.49 for these, and they are sweet as can be. And then I spy with my eye this leather messenger bag. This is a Wilson leather messenger bag. It's that thick leather. It needs a little bit of cleaning at the bottom, but overall it's just like in really good shape. And that style just kind of looks better, like a little bit worn anyway, in my opinion. So I was pretty excited to see that. And then there's another bag there that I'm like, okay, let's take a look at that as well. So as much as I love this bag, I am really forcing myself to slow down and not just go off my gut, but to take the time to look things up. I mean, it looks really good inside and everything. I mean, like I say, it just needs a little cleaning. I kind of like that look anyway, that kind of rough, what do you call that? I mean, it's not like, it's kind of like suede, right? But not exactly. Or maybe it is like suede, exactly. Uh, but... I couldn't find one exactly like it, so I don't end up getting it. They wanted $12.49, and I, I kind of, I almost kind of wish I just got it for myself because I liked it so much. Then these little baby vans, these are like crib shoes because they're not hard bottomed. They're size four infants, and as again, as much as I love these little baby shoes, they just were not selling. I think I found one pair that was new, but I mean, as you can see, like I'm, I'm looking it up on my phone. I couldn't find those same exact ones. They look like they barely, but you know how babies are. They they uh they grow so fast, and their little shoes just they grow out of them so quickly. So the only pair that I found that were like those sold for fourteen ninety nine, and that was brand new condition. So and then there were some other little slip on crib shoes that were the checkerboards that sold for best offer taken. So if I picked those up, say at the bins, and they'd be way the way next to nothing. So. That would have probably been a good pickup in that, but mm, not not here. So I end up leaving those behind as well. Now this bag, this Dawkins bag, I don't, I'm glad I picked it up because this is something that when I'm looking at it, my initial gut reaction is like, look how cheaply this is made. This is like cheapy. But when I go to look this up, I am blown away by the the prices that some of these bags are are getting. So this particular bag, I couldn't find one exactly like it, but I'm seeing prices like in the $35 realm, $30. Um, that one sold for $85. So if you see that brand, definitely take a second to look it up. So that's a good $14 profit on this bag. So that is going to be a definite pickup for me to bring home and, uh, and sell. I'm still like looking at it like how? Look at this. It's just like, it looks like it's not very well made, but hey, who am I to say? The next up is this Betsy Johnson purse. This purse is in really good condition. It's got these pink flowers. I mean, it looks really great. So I couldn't find the same exact one online. I found one similar that sold for $23. They want $4.00. And 49 cents, that's a $14 profit, so that's a pretty good one. I actually picked up another Betsy Johnson purse today, and it's pretty cool. Then I see this uh, Tommy Hilfiger purse. The orange jumped out at me. This is another one that I couldn't find. Well, I did find. Okay, I found it on Poshmark. I couldn't find it on eBay. Couldn't find it on eBay, no sold, so I decided to just go ahead and leave it behind. Uh, bye, Tommy Hilfiger. I may, that may be a mistake. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more videos of me thrifting and what I'm picking up or leaving behind to sell on eBay, then I'm going to link a, li a video for you here. So check these out. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss any content that might help you up your reseller game and just have fun watching videos. See you later. Bye.